श्री गुरु क्यों नम वेलकम टू प्रयत्नम्स यूट्यूब चैनल द टॉपिक फॉर द डे इज निंदा स्तुति लिटरली द फ्रेज निंदा स्तुति इज एन ऑक्समर वेर निंदा मीन्स टू सेंशर और क्रिटिसाइज एंड स्तुति मीन्स टू प्रेज loosely translating to blame praise a very layman example for this would be what an empty year is 2021 going to be there would be no virus in there you really have to read between the lines to understand how much we awaited 2021 the earliest reference to the term ninda stuti is seen in adhyaya 14 of the vishnu dharmottara purana which says stuti rupena ya ninda ninda stutir ihochyate ninda stutis tate bhukta ninda rupena ya stuti meaning we define ninda stuti as blame in the form of praise and likewise praise in the form of blame how did these two opposing terms blame and praise come together to form a genre to understand this a little bit of poetics and alankara shastra would help the beauty of poetics is that it can accommodate several layers of meanings for a single line and to achieve this the poets use alankaras or figures of speech as one medium sanskrit aestheticians consider the alankara vyajastuti as the one in which ninda stuti finds its origin vyaja means faint or tricked vyajastuti faint praise or artful praise this vyajastuti has two facets and in both the facets the apparent meaning is exactly opposite to the intended meaning the first facet is where the intent is to criticize but it is beautifully camouflaged in praise and the second is the reverse where the intent is to praise but on face value it seems like critique why most alankarikas during the course of time have accepted vyajastuti to be the second facet where praise is achieved through criticism Chiranjeeva Bhattacharya in his work Kavya Vilasa defines two alankaras for these two scenarios he calls the first one as stuti ninda and the second ninda stuti he defines ninda stuti ninda stutir alankaro ninda vyajena chet stuti in tamil ani ilakkan we have the vanja pugarchini which also has two facets pugalvadu pol palithan and palipadu pol pugarthan the second is what conforms to the ninda stuti of today humor irony satire and paradox have always been the mainstay of poets over the ages possibly why they used this form extensively to acknowledge the supremacy of the divine even through what seemed like a negative trait probably the gods seemed more accessible through such forms being a very unique method of praising the lord Several poets have used this format in their compositions. The philosophy 
behind the various attributes in the physical form of Lord Shiva have been highlighted through Nindasthuti compositions. Some of them being the tiger and elephant skin wrapped around, ash smeared over your body, cobra your ornament, ganges in your locks, three-eyed form, smashana as your residence, riding on the old bull, and all of these, which seem like apparent criticism, have been used to highlight the greatness of the form of Lord Shiva. Mutta Tandavar, Papa Vinas Madalayar, Mari Bittapule, and Tyagaraja have extensively used this format in many of their compositions. Some popular Nindasthati compositions include Nadamadi Tirinda Umakku, Yidadukal, Moodamanadu, Yen Indra Sulluvirayya by Papa Vinas Madalayar in Ragam Kambuji. Several compositions by Mari Muttapulli, Yedu Kittanai Moodi in Surutti, Yenneeramu Kalai Tukki in Todi, Yettai Kandani Ichchai Kondayadi Magali in Kalyani. Papanasam Sivan's composition, Pichchai Kivandiru, is also in the Nindasthati format. We have the Purandrada Sakriti, Yentha Chaluvagi in Shankaravarnam, which also talks about the physical attributes of Lord Shiva. In case of Rama, the benevolent nature of the God is questioned. We see this in the compositions by Tyagaraja and Bhadra Chalaramadasa, some of them being Adigi Sukhamu in Madhyamavati, Rama Ramana Bharama in Vasanta Bhairavi, Ikshvaku Kulatilaka in Yadukula Kamoji by Bhadra Chalaramadasa. Nasati compositions on other gods include Apan Irundumni Aktai Malainili by Kavi Kalamegam, Pandarichu Bhutumoti and Abhang by Tukara in Chandrakams, Kadu Bendi Kesakir, a recent Nindastuti by Dr. P. N. Manurama, The Tevaru by Sundarar, the seventh Tirumare, Neyum Palu is also in the Nindastuti format. What makes these compositions attractive to an artist? Considering that the stuti is embedded and has to be derived from the apparent ninda, it involves in-depth knowledge of both the superficial meaning and the philosophy behind the lines. These compositions give scope to explain the stuti in detail through sanchayas thus making it interesting for any performance. Although it is important to depict the ninda, it must culminate in a stuti, where in the form of Adbhuta, the greatness of the protagonist is brought to the fore. A duet presentation can possibly help in the Rasodpati for these kind of compositions. A few verses from Gopala Krishna Bharati's Nindasthati composition, Tandai Thai Irindal, Ulagatti Umakinda Thal Vedum Varumo Aya in Shanmugapriya Aditala. This Nindasthati is a slight variant from the others, where the physical form is not the one that is highlighted, but the steadfast devotion of the devotees and the unending grace of Lord Shiva are both beautifully portrayed. A few verses, Kallal Uruva Nadikya, where the devotion of Sakya Nayanar is portrayed. Kal Serupale Uruvedan Vande Udeka, where it provides scope to depict Kannapa Nayanar. Kallal Uruva Nadikya, the fight with Arjuna, as seen in Kirat Arjuniyam. Kusamal Oruvan Kai Kodali Alvaita, the supremacy established over Parashurama. Kutatil Oruvan Pitta Peya Yentritta, the story of Sundarar. 
வீசி மதுரை மாறன் திரம்பால் அடிக்க ஹவு ஹி பிளஸ்ட் மாணிக்க வாச்சகர் ஆல் ஆஃப் தீஸ் ஆர் பியூட்டிஃபுல்லி டிஸ்கிரைப் இன் திஸ் நிந்தா ஸ்ருதி காம்போசிஷன் Thank you for watching and please do subscribe to Pride Nam's YouTube channel.